Hello, we're currently doing an astrological monthly sign reading for March 2008 for the sign Leo. So welcome. I'm really excited to do your reading. I apologize that this is getting out a little bit late. My April reading will definitely be out earlier. Uh, I love you fire signs. You guys are fantastic. Thanks so much for subscribing to this channel. If you haven't, please do as well. If you like this video, click the like button. So let's get into our card reading. We're using Dorian Virtue. Oh, and Radley Valentine's Tarot and Angel cards. And obviously there's a lot happening for you guys this month. So it's all positive. And again, it's what we make of it. Okay, so um, maybe financial security is coming up as well. So um, just being mindful of how we can release any of our emotions. Okay, so are there ways that we can let go of emotions without being hurt? That's a big thing, right? So... Um, King of Water, that's what uh, cancer is, actually. So trustworthy, compassionate, respected, cultured. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice, charity work. So we may have a little bit of extra energy this month. Keep in mind, this is just a general reading. I do personal readings. You can go into robinsealing.com if you're interested. So um, lots of energy, lots of excitement, lots of love. Um, you may need to feel like you need to stand up for people or stand up for your rights, stand up for your things, but you're going to have the energy to do that. So that's why even charity work's coming up. Like financially, you may be in a place where you can give and give of your time. Um, I don't know if you if it relates to a weight loss program, if you want to start a weight loss program for yourself. Um, the beginning of March is an awesome time to do that. So if you need to shed some skin, that's another thing. Just letting go of things that aren't uh, working for you anymore, as well as uh, letting any tears out that you need to just let out. I think now is a time for you to feel safe in doing that, okay? Moving on. Balance. Archangel Zadkiel. The need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise. Wait for perfect timing. So this is talking more around um, things that you probably want to do or things that you've been meaning to do, that sort of thing. Um, I feel like around this issue specifically, it's about grounding yourselves. Um, I think it could be that you have some stuff that you maybe know that you need to deal with but you don't really want to and there could be some judgment around that whether it's from you or someone else so um yeah this is uh again this is only going to relate to certain people so uh just take what you can from this but i think what's really coming through is just trusting um in the process and that's why you have perfect perfect timing so just waiting for the perfect timing it's not considered procrastination when we're just waiting for the right moment okay the wheel, a time of positive change, a situation suddenly moves forward, fortune is on your side. I love that. So um, the last reading that I just did, the end of the month, seemed to really look up for a lot of people. So although we're going into Mercury retrograde on March 22nd, it's actually still a really positive time. The only thing that Mercury retrograde does is it just tends to... Um, create change when we're not expecting it and that's what scares people but for someone like you guys I feel like it change is good so a time of positive change a situation suddenly moves forward fortune is on your side the wheel so taking more action on the things that um you know that you need to do um hopefully it's stuff that you want to do as well so just um make sure that you know that you're the one in control in all time at all times so um nobody's making you do anything so this is also about like owning up to our responsibilities and taking accountability for our actions as well when we realize that we're doing things because we're choosing to do things so really work on choices and uh, maybe goal setting um or starting something new maybe positive that um even it could be like a new job as well <laughs> Sorry about that. Just got a phone call. <laughs> okay, end of the month. So for a fire, contentment. I think I just spit a little bit there. Contentment, peace, and abundance. A happy home life. The successful completion of a project. So amazing way to end the month. For a fire. So this is a person who just needs to like get away, go on a vacation because it, they're being rewarded. So it doesn't have to be you actually going on a vacation, but it could just be you acknowledging that you need to reward yourself or that there's a lot of positive energy and success really coming your way and you're finally starting to see it. So I I feel like it's like if you planned on um, building a business or creating an environment for yourself, like you've been trying to manifest a positive 
positive like life I feel like you may feel like some of the signs are indicating that it's finally coming in for you and you can kind of start really looking around so towards the end of the month really work on um, just like the gratitude journal if you want or just acknowledging every day what you're grateful for and you're going to invite even more of that in okay so I hope that you guys found this helpful I hope you guys have an awesome March and I'll see you in April bye